Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and today we are doing a very special episode once again with my grandma in her home. And as you guys know, these recipes and these episodes are incredibly special to me, and most of the time I don't know what she wants to make, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Today we are making, now you guys know a while back I said something, I had mentioned something about a pasta with zucchini that she used to make when we were little. Well, she wanted to just kick things up a couple notches, and she wanted to make pasta with zucchini, zucchini flowers, and tuna, which is delightful, and I'm thrilled to share this recipe with you. The ingredients you'll need are few and simple. You'll need some zucchini. She's using little baby ones just because her friend grows these little ones, so that's what she's using. You'll need some tomatoes. These are beautiful cherry tomatoes that she's halved, and some of them are quartered. These are zucchini flowers that she has obviously picked off the zucchini, washed and teared in some places. You've got some breadcrumbs. Tuna, this is tuna packed in oil and she keeps the oil as well. That's totally optional, but I do suggest a good Italian canned tuna. Sliced onions, basil, olive oil, pasta of your choice. We're using fusilli, olive oil, olio, and salt, pasta. It's very simple. She's, see, si, salad but don't you make two people? She doesn't use a lot of black pepper, I do. Yo, sambu pepper, sale pepper. She doesn't use a lot of black pepper, I do. But anyway. I see. Exactly. What do I always say? It's whatever you like. She doesn't like a lot of pepper, so she doesn't use it. But if you do, you can use it. Now, she has a pot ready with some water and salt in it for the pasta. And then we have a skillet ready that she's going to start cooking things up. Now she's going to add onions. Quanto olio? Bello fine. And a good amount of olive oil. Si, si. Now, as you guys know from last time we cooked together, she really enjoys using a little more oil than I probably would, but in some cases, it really makes the dish. Now, I would probably drain the oil out of the tuna. She's keeping it because she prefers it that way. She tells me that the pasta doesn't come out as dry. So, now, <laughs> we are going to just piccoli così. We're going to just chop these up <laughs> in <laughs> fine <laughs> ribbons. <laughs> See? She's telling me to be very careful with my knife because it's very dangerous. Clearly, she doesn't watch a whole lot of my recipes episodes. <laughs> but that's okay. This is actually a really sharp knife. I'm not quite sure where it's from. She's had it in the same box forever and ever, and she only uses it on very special occasions. Allora, i zucchini, taglia rotondini piccirilla. Simona e questi qua, no? Eh, sì, 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 fino alla fine. Fine, fine, fine. Tipo così. Eh. Così? Ma già metto il cane. Just cutting up the few left here. Now she placed these here so you guys can see what they look like. Now she's very, my grandmother's very, very picky, and that's one thing you guys have to understand. She will drive somewhere, even if there's a produce place right outside her house, she'll drive 10 minutes away to another produce place because she likes something there better. One thing that she will never do is that she will never buy something, for example, these, these were grown locally, literally around the corner from her house, so she will never buy zucchini that were brought in from somewhere else if she can find them locally grown. So. I figured I'd share that tidbit because that's where I, that's exactly how I feel. If something's organic, I'd rather buy local. That's more important to me. That's where I got it from. Yeah. Now we're going to add these to the hot oil and the onion. And now we're going to let those cook. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. This draws moisture out of the vegetables as well. It helps them cook down a bit. Now, you know what's funny? is that if you guys remember when I sh shared a cauliflower pasta recipe with you and I did the little, like, um, at the end I threw in there some sautéed breadcrumbs, she does the same thing with this dish, which I'm so excited to show you that because she, it's what she used to call when she was a little girl, she used to call that um, Parmesan for poor people. That's what they used to call them because a lot of people couldn't afford cheese, so they would use old bread, make breadcrumbs to resemble the finish of Parmesan cheese. And she's adding some of the chopped tomatoes. She's not going to add all of them because the rest are going to be for a different recipe, which you guys are going to yeah. have to stay tuned for. Now, one of them is the cucinano. And it needs to cook about 10 minutes over medium heat. She's got this over the highest, over, this is a small burner, over the highest it uh, can go, but it's really a small burner, so about medium heat for 10 minutes should be perfect. Cuando no está basta, no 
Questo ci vuole 10 minuti. Eh. A basta ci vuole 8-9 minuti. Quando andiamo? In a few minutes we'll add the pasta. I'll show you guys before we add it though. We cooked down for about a minute, she added some fresh basil. I'm really trying to stay on top of it guys, but look at her. She's, she's a woman on the run. And as much as I, <laughs> as much as I always try to be very organized and uh, sort of have everything ready, when it comes to filming here, when it comes to filming with her, now she's, now she's asking me which flowers would be better for the picture. Eh, sono tutte belle, no? It's very difficult, and I, and I refuse to tell her uh, to stand right here. I think the beauty of this is that you get to see exactly how we cook together when we're, when we're together. So thumbs up this video if you do enjoy that, and maybe we'll do these more often, because we are considering the possibility of coming here more often so that I can cook wi more with her, because it's something I cherish. And I just think that once a year isn't enough. So thumbs up this video if you like these kinds of videos with my precious Nonna, and we'll try to bring you more. She's adding the tuna with all the oil and everything, and like I mentioned, you can absolutely keep the oil out. She just prefers to add it in because she thinks it makes the pasta a little bit, you know, makes the dish a bit more moist. In fact, you can see at the bottom of the pan, there's not a whole lot of oil there, so there's something to that. And this smells and looks magnificent. And now, as you can, if you can see, the zucchini, the flowers have kind of disintegrated and made this like delicious, sort of thick, gorgeous sauce. But some of the zucchini still has its shape. Some of it has cooked down. Looks perfect. Now, pasta. We're gonna add. Si si si. She's gonna add the pasta to the boiling water. She's gonna add an extra pinch of salt. She always adds one when we um, once you add the pasta. I've moved my zucchini mixture to the side because I need to ha to borrow this burner, and I've got a little skillet here with some olive oil, not too much. And he over here, we're gonna we're going to toast up our breadcrumbs. We want our breadcrumbs to become a beautiful golden crisp color, and that's been a No, no, no. You want the olive oil to get nice and hot though, because what you don't want is to add the breadcrumbs into cold oil, it soaks it up. What you do want is to add breadcrumbs into hot oil and then that way it sizzles up immediately. It doesn't drink up all the oil. So let's just wait another minute or so. Looks ready enough. Let's see. And now I'm just going to constantly sit he stand, he stand, stand here and stir this up and allow it to cook until it becomes nice and crisp. And then in the meantime, I'm just going to wait for my pasta to cook. We will drain it and we'll pull it all together. Now I have the burner back here still on and I just kind of switched the burners and I'm taking my pasta out. I want a little tiny tad of that cooking water so I'm not really minding that it's, um, I'm not draining it completely because that just kind of gives a nice thickness to the sauce. So I'm just going to put all my pasta in here the best I can to, thank you, kind of tilt it. If you can see, catch the edges of the pan, you can see that we've created a really quick and yet really yummy sauce right in the pot with tons and tons of flavor. So now what we're going to do, yep, shrek, whoop, that's gorgeous, my daughter, and I have to be honest with you, I never use basil when it comes to tuna, she does and I can see why. Now. When you're ready to serve this, you serve a little bit of it, diciamo un po' per noi, because we have to also eat lunch. Sì, 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 sì. Aspetta, ma mo massaggia. Come per adesso deve massaggiare. For now we have to try it. She wants this to be before the picture. Mo la massaggia. And this is the breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah. Uh, si? Si, non ti preoccupare. Ci deve proprio pia forcate pure tu, ma no. She said I drive her crazy, but what can I do? Assaggiamo insieme, aspetta a te. We're gonna try it together, I'm waiting for her. I do like how the zucchini held its shape. Ottimo. Che le Mmm. Ah. Mmm. 
Ótimo, é, é, it's excellent. It's non fishy. Sim, sim. Mete junto, né? Now, I have to plate this up so that she can plate it for you the way she wants it. Ok? Uh, aspetta. I'm doing this Não vai trucar. Vai, vai. Não é trucar. Não quero trucar, não diz. Ok. Now she's going to put more on top. And this is how she would present it to you. Which is why she's been killing me to make, to make sure that you see her final presentation. Bellissimo. Ottimo. Easy, it's quick, it's Precious. cheap, it's delicious. And it's at the right price, she said. <laughs> Not quite sure what that stands for. We hope you've enjoyed spending time with us. The written recipe will be alert in the kitchen.com as always. Saludamo. Alla prossima. See you next time. Buonissimo. <laughs> Infatti. Yeah, yeah. Sì. Yeah.